I'm in the key of D minor. I'm on my tenor ukulele with a low G. Let's take a look at the melody all by itself first. I'll break that down very slowly so you can see how all the parts go with no tempo. I start by playing the open A string and I put my index finger here on the first fret and I leave it there and go and that's how it starts. When marimba rhythms. Now I go up here and cover the A string on the first fret. Got that? That happens twice. And the last part is so that was open, third fret, first fret. And continuing on, I put my index finger here on the first fret, and I'll put my middle finger here on the second fret and go. And now I put my ring finger up here and go. And the very last part, Let's see how we fit that melody to our chords. Start by holding a D minor chord here, two, two, one, and you can just strike it, and that kind of sets the tune up. So we've just struck the first chord, and we hang on to that chord and go, because remember our melody was here. We might as well keep the whole chord in our hand. And now our next chord is this one here and going to this one here. So we go, we strike all the strings and then lift up the index finger. So that's how the melody fits with this chord. And when we go to the next chord, which is actually like this, we can't play this note because the melody's here. So we have to just forget that and not play that string at all because our melody is right on this string. So we strike it like this. These three strings. So that's like an A chord there. When we put it up here, it becomes a jazz chord, but we just can't use that because the melody forces us to not play that string. So it starts out, hit the D minor. So after you play this, and now the fingers all switch to these three strings. But you may have noticed on the video, sometimes I don't hit all three strings together. What I do is hit this note alone, then come back and hit the chord. I did it both ways, and you should try both ways yourself, see what you're comfortable with. So hit all three together, or hit this one alone, and then all three together. So, like this. It's just a light hit, it's like a feathered chord, I, I would call it. Just one little feather right after it. Or, all together. And then, we go back to the D minor chord. So we got our hand down on the D minor chord and play all strings and then put the little finger down and lift it up. And when we lift it up, it's playing this note here. My two fingers here are covering it so you can't see it very well, but here and here on the index finger. So strike them all. 
and then keep the D minor chord still, and we're going to play these notes while we strike the whole chord first. The first three strings of the chord, we're not playing this one. So you strike all three strings, and then boom, 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 boom. We go back to this chord, and it's the A7 with the little finger here, and this finger, middle finger comes. Or I might go. You can try both ways, where I'm striking the whole chord, three, three strings, this one's not played, and then this one alone, and now the index finger on that first fret. So I'm leaving the index finger down all the time. Then back to the D minor chord one last time. Hold the whole chord down. Again, that's sway with me. So this note's the first melody note where my index finger is. Again, not playing that high A string. So I just lift it up, the index finger. And now this string. And then I might feather the whole chord again. So. Or all four strings. So you can see that we're not using this high A string all the time. Um, a lot of our chords and the melody are made with just these three strings here and not playing the top one. And I inject a little bit of rhythm into the song by putting in some strums like this in between the melody phrases. Like that, that little, sometimes I go, go up and down. You can do whichever way you find easiest. So just getting those little strums in there in between things. And then, of course, I'm adding more rhythm by tapping my foot, which you can hear in the background. That's it for the A section of Sway.